the main reason it's most important is because when I left the university, I didn't really have a good connection to the university itself. Um, we kind of scattered, we came. There were very few black students at that point. And what really resonated with me was the fact that we weren't made to feel all that welcome. Among ourselves, we did. And from the time we graduated and everybody scattered, we've never really felt the need to reach back out to the university, save for those people who were involved locally, um, to give money for scholarships and things like that. But now, um, it's almost like you're vindicated, like people recognize that we were here that we went through what we went through. I don't mean to make it sound like it was all bad. It was a lot of fun. There were fun times, but it was very difficult too as, as well. Um, become involved in the university. Um, become involved in your community. Uh, make a difference. Don't just be there. Um, study hard. Make some connections, because you'll need them once you leave. Um, and most of all, be open to the experience as opposed to being closed off and not feeling as if you are welcome. I'm not that kind of person anymore. And part of that did have to do with me being here at the university. I was the first in my family to attend college. Um, I was the first in my, college, my, in, my, in my family to graduate from college. So it was an eye-opening experience for me and my family. We came here, uh, actually my grandparents are Bahamian settlers, so they had been in Miami for over uh, I guess over like 60 years before I even came to the University of Miami. So the pride that they had for me um, was, was, you know, like very touching. I did not want to disappoint them. And that's the other thing. Um, if I had to talk to students again, make your parents proud, make your family proud, and don't do anything that's going to embarrass you or them. Um, but at the same time, be mindful of the fact that you have an a responsibility to be the best that you can and do whatever it is you came here to do. The young lady that you just interviewed, Judy, Judy Williams, was actually my roommate. And I remember that one time Judy got sick and I called housekeeping at the time to tell them that our heat was out, that Judy's had a fever and she was really sick. And they didn't pay attention to me. And of course, being the person that I am, I took it further. I called and no one responded. So I looked in the telephone book, and they were telephone books at that time, uh, and found Henry King Stanford's number. And I called him at his house. He was very gracious. Um, needless to say, our heat got turned on. We had no more problems with the people in, you know, in, in housekeeping or whatever. And to me, that spoke volumes of him. And that spoke volumes of the care that he had for the students. Don't feel that it's unnecessary not to become involved. As a trailblazer, you, not, you don't realize the responsibility that you carry and that that responsibility carries on to bring more students of color to this campus. Because let's face it, we made a big difference in the way that this institution developed and we want to continue to do that.